So I've been sitting here for like a couple minutes now, more than a couple minutes, honestly, but ultimately it's just because I don't really know what to really say about this episode, and it's not because I thought it was bad or anything, um, I think it did a lot of good in terms of the villain characters, uh, mainly Shigaraki, I feel like, because he's kind of the one that I feel like needed the most development with his character, because he was kind of one note and he didn't really seem all that much different. Especially after season three with the biggest event of his life so far as a villain. But uh, I didn't think this episode was bad. It's just that it kind of focused more on one thing. And one thing that I'm like only sort of interested about. Because only some of the villains I really like. And it's, well obviously the villains. It focused a lot on the villains. Uh, and just their personalities and their characters. Uh, like Rappa, the the big guy that Fat Gum and Kirishima fought in the previous episode, um, you know, turns out he's not unconscious or anything, or the guy that he's with also, the one who's creating the bear and the barrier, um, they were still fully conscious, and Rappa was still f full, well intended into fighting, and uh, because he is his personality and his whole character is that one has to die in order for there to truly be a winner, even though he clearly lost a fight and can barely move. But he starts going off about, like, oh, I want to fight that kid, or he, and then he corrects himself and he says, that man, uh, to the death. He wants to have a, a full-on death battle with Kirishima uh, because he was, I guess, pretty impressed by what he was capable of being able to do in a situation like that. And he even offers them to use the, like medical station or whatever that's like literally right next to them in the next room which i thought was pretty funny but then afterwards it kind of just focuses on the guy who's manipulating the the hallways i don't even remember his name it probably doesn't really matter but it focuses on him a little bit and just hell and how he's gonna slow down the provost from catching up with miro because miro is still like way ahead of everybody the fuck else um just you know, that makes sense but he's like way ahead of everybody else and everyone is trying to catch up with him um uh night eye showed off a lot more of what he was capable of doing instead of fight which i thought was definitely interesting and definitely surprised me but i wasn't expecting it to be as easy as it was but then again he was fighting you know twice and he's not really you know anything much besides being able to clone himself and clone others so i guess that's not really a surprise but <coughs> excuse me uh it definitely showed off a lot more than what i thought he was capable of doing and they almost kind of set up like a, a relationship between him and himiko which i thought was definitely interesting because it, it still seems like she's still madly in love with midoriya and uh, yeah, they have an interaction with this episode and he pretty much recognizes her immediately because of, not only because of the forest thing that happened in the beginning of season three, but because he met her as disguised as Kami, uh, back at towards like the final arc of season three. And, uh, I'm glad that he was able to recognize that and not be an idiot because not only does it fit his character, but it just seemed obvious that he's met someone like who was able to do that before and yeah he immediately recognizes that that's her um and then yeah just the episode just sort of starts focusing more on shigaraki i feel like shigaraki the main you know villain of the league of villains and it's mostly just just towards showing off more of his character and just it, there was a scene where he's talking to uh, all of the resident members of the league of villains and he's saying that twice and Himiko are gonna go work with, uh, you know, the Hasaikai and go do what they have to do over there and just work with them. They obviously don't want to do it because, well, they already killed one of their guys and they don't trust them. And Shigaragi explains that he doesn't trust them either, but he trusts them. He trusts his members of the League of Villains. And I thought that was very interesting for his character because, obviously, if you know more about his character, you're gonna know more about how... He doesn't seem like he would be the type of person to really trust anybody through his life and what he's been through but he's able to manage these people through such a short amount of time seemingly so and i think that's uh i think that's definitely good for his character it shows a lot more 
about who he is and uh, it shows that he is changing and he is developing more as a person and as what he's supposed to be a leader for the League of Villains. And I think I thought that was good. I thought that was good for his character. But ultimately, there's just kind of not much that really happened. And uh, I don't know. I just... Uh, I'm not, like, I wasn't bored of the episode, and I wasn't, you know, disinterested. I was still watching it, and I still want to see what happens. And through the previews of what we got for the next episode, it seems that things are going to, you know, ramp up to something else, especially because of what I fucking see on Twitter every single goddamn day, because people who watch the, or not watch the manga, read the manga, have already sort of, you know, said stuff, not really explicitly, like, spoil anything, but they pretty much say, like, uh, manga readers are doing blah, 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 or, and they're, they're not, you know, they're, they're not ready for this, and I'm just like, oh, so something bad's gonna happen, thanks for fucking, like, semi-spoiling it for me, someone who hasn't read the manga yet, so, thanks for that, I guess, you fuckers, <laughs> just, that's an entirely different video on itself, but, the episode was just kind of whatever, it focused more on the villains, I feel like, and just, what they're thinking in the current situations that they're in and I thought that was good but other than that I just I was sort of just sort of disinterested in the episode and I didn't really care about whatever else was happening because the action was only like so-so you know and I'm not saying I'm only watching this for the action because I do care about the characters and I want to see them grow and develop into who they're going to end up being but ultimately this is all just kind of setting up more towards of what Stane was talking about in the second season about how the heroes are mainly focused on those who have flashy quirks and you know look like they're very popular and or could be very popular other than actually being heroes like all might was doing when he was still you know the symbol of peace and the whole point of it is that uh, Midoriya and the rest of his classmates are going to be the catalyst to finally change that and those who are strong but not strong in the reasons of oh they have a flashy quirk but the fact that they genuinely care and want to save people they are going to be the catalyst to finally change that in the hero society and that's why the League of Villains and what Shigaraki's now you know whole philosophy is now that's all changed and now they're trying to also change that and benefit themselves rather than everybody and the whole point is for the heroes to do that for everybody and not just themselves and i think that's just what the whole point of this is supposed to be but also because they're trying to save Ari, the little girl who's fucking getting destroyed her body's getting completely fucking destroyed just so that way they can scare the heroes and that's messed up it's very messed up i don't know what's about to happen in the next episode but shit's about to go down and i'm very interested to see what happens so yeah, that's kind of the end of the episode, which means that's the end of the review. If you did enjoy it for whatever reason, be sure to leave a like. If you are new, subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to try to get another video out today, but it'll probably not happen regardless, just because of how things are going about today, and it'll probably just most likely come out tomorrow. But there's another video that I want to talk about that's specifically Borderlands related, because they just came out with new content, and I really want to talk about it uh, just a little bit, because there's not really much that I want to say about it, other than just whatever I'm going to say in that video, but regardless, that's the end of the video. Again, if you did enjoy, leave a like, and if you did like whatever you saw, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day. I'm out.